Hello, I'm Philip Preston, president of PolyScience. We want to cover proper installation of the chiller and troubleshooting procedure. Installation. When installing the chiller, first check the serial number tag to be sure you are plugging the unit into a grounded outlet with the correct voltage and frequency. Ensure that the power cord is fully inserted at both the outlet and the chiller power inlet. Connect the fittings at the rear, being careful not to over tighten. Connect the tubing to the unit being cooled. Fill the reservoir with the correct heat transfer fluid. Do not use deionized water or tap water or automotive antifreeze. Be sure that there is at least 24 inches or 60 centimeters of space on all sides of the chiller to ensure good airflow. The chiller needs good airflow to ensure proper cooling. Prime the pump by turning the unit on, then off three times. This purges the air from inside the pump. As the process tubing fills with liquid, the liquid level indicator in the chiller's reservoir may drop. This is normal and may occur more than once. Refill the chiller's reservoir as needed. Reference the user manual for setting temperature and centigrade C or Fahrenheit F units. If you are setting up a chiller in a known dirty environment, consider offering the self-changing filter option. If using the standard filter, train the user on how to clean the filter and the condenser. Also explain that the unit will give visual and audible service reminder to clean the filter and condenser. The filter can be cleaned with a light spray of warm water in a sink. To clean the condenser, use a soft brush and compressed air or non-flammable gas. Direct a 60 PSI or four bars of flow at the condenser stain six inches or 15 centimeters away from the condenser fins. Use care not to bend the condenser fins. Troubleshooting. Before returning a chiller, do this first. Clean the air filter, clean the condenser, check fluid level and fluid connections. If it still doesn't work, connect the fluid inlet to the fluid outlet and run the self-test from the menu. Record and share any warnings or alarms that are on the display. Also, check to ensure that the chiller has at least 24 inches of space on all sides to ensure proper airflow. 